had a Captain O'Malley, he was lived there in the house, a process into Zunira Lodge, no next act and so tell. And he used to have, take you know, young people, they used to go out in his boat. He had a, a, what's called a western boat, like a big, big salmon boat. And he had lobster pots, so we used to go out helping him to put his lobster pots. And then in return, then you spent the rest of the time fishing. And when the best of all is, when you come back and then you were selling the fish on the pier and on the slipway below, uh, sometimes to the annoyance of, of legitimate fishermen and and salespeople and that, but you know, just was, was part of of the summer, and, and it made the summers very enjoyable there. My earliest memories are actually as a small child, maybe four years old, sitting on the carrier at the back, the carrier at the back, over the back wheel of the bicycle, and she used to have to cycle there. If the weather was bad, we had to go out the worlds and road and go across the the bridge. And there was an opening span in the bridge and it was the opening span was timber and the timbers used to rattle when you went over on the bicycle and even as an adult i hated walking across it it always brought back memories other time then we used to go on the ferry boat you know from the ferry slipway over the dock so i was then went to school in town in the boys school and uh, now the outdoor education center and there it was you know the brothers were tough some of them uh, were, were quite cruel and they punished people, you know, very severely. And the playground, I suppose, was our haven there, um, a very stony ground for playing soccer. You had games in like marbles and playing tig and sword fighting and that, you know, things that have probably died out, I suppose, nowadays with electronic games. In, back in the 60s and 70s, <clears throat> I think there was more of a community spirit at that time. Like the town had been very depressed, <clears throat> sorry, like the rest of the country. And then I remember we, we got, this was the first kind of festival we had in modern times, was a thing called the Wild Geese. It was the forerunner of the Chamber of Tourism. And Peter Barry was our first chairman. And we, we had this festival in 1966. We had a, probably a better spirit among some of the businesses that we had festivals, we had parades and that. People that time, I think, were more dedicated and you know, no, there still are a lot of them are dedicated, but it, it it affected more people right across the whole population that time. Mm -hmm.